everybody welcome back to my channel if you're here for the first time welcome to my channel thanks for clicking on this video so today I'm gonna be talking about well it's kind of just like a one-year um, follow-up from my thyroid surgery um, if you haven't seen that video I will link it up here down there somewhere but I was just thinking the other day because I got a comment on my thyroid post-op video my first post-op video um, asking like how things were and I thought maybe it would be good to do a year follow-up because when I was doing my own research on it um, I would always like hope that there was you know another follow-up or as many follow-ups as possible just to kind of see how people are progressing basically it has been a little bit over a year I had my um, my my left side of my thyroid taken out um, in January of 2018 so it's now February 2019 and I just want to kind of talk about how this past year has been what I'm currently dealing with and any issues or anything that I've had so this past year so I'll just start off with saying the first thing that really rocked me was right after I had my surgery I got really really sick I got the flu um, really bad so within like a couple of weeks of having this taken out, I got the flu. I can't say that it's because of taking that out. It, what, it is flu season, you know, around that time in January. I just, I hadn't been that sick in years. Like I was really, really sick. I was out of work for like two weeks um, because I got sick. I thought I was getting better and then I got sick again. And so it felt like my immune system wasn't doing its job in fighting off whatever that I was going through. So I had a really hard time recovering from being sick. And I, like I said, I hadn't been sick in like so long. So I kind of chalked it up to the trauma of, trauma, <laughs> trauma of my surgery and just my immune system trying to get back into the swing of things. After I got over that sickness, um, I was doing pretty well. Uh, I think this past year has been rough for me. But for the first like few months up until about the summertime, I seem to be doing just the same as I always was. As far as my weight goes, it has gone way up. I've never been somebody who eats like super healthy and works out all the time. I haven't changed any of my eating habits. They haven't gotten worse or better. Um, sorry if I say um a lot. <laughs> I have noticed that even with that, my weight has still continued to climb. I would say it got worse around like July until now. My weight just was going up and up. I'm I'm at the heaviest I've ever been in my entire life. Even having two kids with both pregnancies, I never got as high of in my weight as I am right now today. So that's a really hard thing for me to deal with. Um, I've gained a lot of weight in my stomach area, which really sucks because who wants to be freaking, who wants to have a big stomach? Nobody wants to have a big stomach. I've noticed that a lot of my clothes don't fit me. A lot of clothes that I've been able to wear before don't, don't fit me. So my whole life, I haven't been like a super tiny person, but I've always been kind of average. And now it's gotten to where I'm in the plus size range. Like if you've watched my videos, you've seen I've done plus size hauls and there's nothing wrong with that. But like for me, health wise, I just don't feel like I'm at my best. And I don't like not being able to wear clothes I don't want to wear. I mean, clothes that I want to wear. I don't like being able not to. So it's been really hard. As far as, like, other than the weight, my energy is pretty low. It's really low. Like, I will sleep at night and I will... S Actually, when I sleep at night, I don't sleep fully through the night. I'm waking up a lot during the night. And then I'm not feeling fully... Um, fully refreshed in the morning. So I'm just tired all day. I did recently try to start eating better. I started on Weight Watchers, but I, you know, I kind of been falling on and off of that, um, like starting over and starting over. Um, I did get a gym membership. Me and my sister have been going to the gym, and I have to say, like, it did help a little bit, but it's not as much as it, like it used to be. Like, I know before, if I started on a good, like, routine, workout routine and eating healthier, I would notice my weight fall off, like, fast like it would fall off and then it'd give me more motivation and I'd keep going and going but now it's like really really hard to get that um kick start with my weight loss so I don't know if my metabolism being slow 
but I did go into the doctor um, a few weeks ago and I did mention this these things to him I just told him you know I don't know if it's my thyroid thing weird if I need to pe be put on um, synthetic hormones because I never did get put on any medication after the part of my thyroid was taken out some people do have to um, but I have it at this point every time I go and have my TSH levels checked they're normal so I told him about like the issues I was having, just having a hard time sleeping, energy, a lot of belly fat. And so he told me, and I didn't think about this, but like I've heard of this disease, but I didn't think about it with my symptoms. But he told me that I will need to do the 24 hour urine test to test for Cushing's disease. So Cushing's basically is when you have a too high of a level of cortisol in your, in your system. And cortisol is... I don't really know like you probably have to look it up if I'm explaining it wrong I'm sorry but cortisol is that um, fight or flight like hormone that you get um, so but but if you do have a lot of cortisol you gain a lot of belly fat as of right now I don't know if that's what I have I'm just telling you like that's what I'm being tested for and I would say that it sucks because sometimes I feel like I wish I would have just left my thyroid alone and not got surgery and just seeing how my life went without it you know but at the same time the nodules on my thyroid even though they were non-cancerous they were still growing so rapidly that it was like to the point where it was like pushing on my windpipe so I still have a nodule on this side um but it wasn't big enough it wasn't concerning enough for him to want to take it out he said to just leave it if I could to you know have at least half of my thyroid there trying to function for my body so anyways I I don't really have like a lot to say I just wanted to tell you kind of the things that I've personally been dealing with everyone goes through something different with this but I did want to mention mostly the weight gain because that is something that I was really worried about when I um, was going to have the surgery I would look up videos to see if people have gained weight and I have to tell you that I did gain more weight I would say from the time of my surgery till now, I've gained about 25 pounds, and that's a lot. It's a lot when you're 5'1". I'm only 5'1", so I'm really short. My weight has nowhere else to go besides out, and it's really, really noticeable. And I'm hoping that I can come up with my doctor. I'm hoping that we can come up with a solution to help me um, with the weight part because dieting and exercising, I'm still going to try to do but I'm just like noticing that it's not helping as, it's not working as much, as, as, it's not working as well as it used to for me. I'm only 30 years old. Like I think about it sometimes, maybe I'm just getting to that age where, you know, <laughs> I'm getting older, but at the same time, I'm not that old. I mean, maybe to like a 20 year old, I'm old, but I'm not that old that I should be like feeling like I'm 60 or 70, right? Anyways, that's just kind of an update of it. If you're interested, if you're anyone that's watched my thyroid videos. um, So if you have any questions, I hope this wasn't just me like rambling on and not really answering anything. But if you have any questions, do feel free to leave a comment. I always respond to my comments. And yeah, thanks for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.